Hey, I'm Gavin Ackerman. I play rhythm guitar. Hi, I'm Matthew Stockel, and I play drums. I'm Sam Hobine. I'm lead vocals. I'm Matthew Gray, and I play bass guitar. I'm Ashley George, and I play lead guitar. And we are Orbit. <laughs> Good to meet you guys. So, um, are you guys all friends? You guys go to the same high school? Um, no, I go to Elgin Park in White Rock, but they all live in Fleetwood area, so I'm, I'm kind of not. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm the outcast. Yeah. And like, how did you guys meet? How did you guys come together? Well, um, Matt and Ashley, they were in a band before, um, and actually Gavin was in it too. And then they needed a drummer and a singer, so um, they asked me if I wanted to be in the band. And then a couple months later, um, Sam came into the band. Wonderful. So a few months later, you came into the band, and you are the lead vocal singer. And so, do you have any like sort of formal training under your belt, or is it just something that just sort of comes from within? Formal training under my belt, not really. I, um, I don't know. I've always kind of been a wacky kid and always really energetic, even through like preschool when it came to performances with like even just like the tambourine and like the bells for like Christmas <laughs> things. I was just like, yeah, just having the time. But I don't know. It's just I've always like to have fun and might as well put it out on stage. So do you write your own vocals? Um, everyone pitches in with the vocals. We always want to be a team effort and that's how it works. Very cool. Yeah. So when it comes to the style of music, what's the style of music that you guys play? Um, I'm not sure. It's sort of a punk rock sort of sound, but uh, we are very versatile in terms of uh, our style of playing. And of course, right now we've only been together for like a year and a half, so we're still figuring out just what direction we want to, you know, uh, take our music in. And yeah. Do you kind of have an idea of the direction you want to go, or is it sort of still very new? We've only been writing our original songs for the past six months now, so. It's all really new to us. We don't really have a main genre of music that we've been going for, but we're very versatile and yeah. That's super important, I think. You guys are in that stage where it's like the music can go anywhere and just the fact that you guys are quite versatile in a marketing sense is phenomenal because you guys aren't just directed towards one niche. You're kind of keeping it your options open for the, the array out there. Um, yeah, we want to do what everyone really likes out there, like, because you got, like, your older crowd who's usually into your basic, like, classic rock and stuff, and then you got your new age, like, young tweens to teens that are all into, like, the club music and, like, Black Eyed Peas and stuff, and we try to, we're trying to go about that music, but we're trying to add our own somewhat rock feel to it, not to change it too much, but just to, yeah. just to let them know what like rock is actually like, just to get kids to start liking some of the old stuff again. For sure, super important. You guys are like kind of giving it your own signature. Sorry, you guys are giving it like your own flair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we are. We like to be pretty versatile when, uh, when what we're doing. So, yeah, I do think we add a lot of our own kicks into things. Wonderful, super important. <laughs> when it comes to inspiration and motivation, what is the sort of key inspiration, motivation behind you personally? Like a like band or like band, people, food, anything. What inspires you? What gets that energy going inside? Well, like chicken. <laughs> Well, uh, I don't know, I listen to a lot of, uh, like, Green Day, Blink-182, like, that kind of punk rockish stuff, so, like, for a lot of the music that we write as a band, we all kind of incorporate, like, what we listen to almost, so for me, I always incorporate, like, a punk rockish kind of sound into all my music, um, for people that, like, really inspired me, probably my, uh, grandpa that teaches me guitar, he's the one that teaches all of us our instruments at his uh, guitar school place. So uh, without him, I wouldn't have started guitar. So. Wow, so your grandfather definitely. So you guys have all obviously met his grandfather. Cool. Terry, Terry G. 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 Say, Dog. say some words about Terry G there. Say some words about Terry G. Loving his hair. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> his what he has now hair. Well, Terry, love you, man. But uh, <laughs> basically, Terry, he's a really awesome guy. Taught me basically everything I know. Like, I took lessons before, and they were all right, but then I stepped up to Terry, and it was just a whole new thing. He's getting me out there not only with Orbit, but as a solo performer myself, because um, I play a couple of different instruments other than just singing, so. What are those instruments? Oh, geez. Um, and there's quite a few, but m my bass instruments I play are probably bass guitar, acoustic, electric, 12 string, and piano about there. Wow, that's a lot. You're very talented young man. So when it comes to shows and performing and stuff, have is there one performance show that sort of stands out in your mind that you had a lot of fun at? Um, there are a lot of really good shows that we've done where the crowd was like super excited and you know there was just a lot of energy. Um, we did a fundraiser one time. It was uh, Cycle Beaties. It was for a fundraiser for juvenile diabetes. We did that at, I believe it's the high school you go to now, Gavin, right? And yeah, that was super fun. And it felt even better because, you know, we were doing it for, you know, charity. And so uh, it just felt really good to be part of that and to have an awesome crowd. Yeah. And yeah. 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 I think having an, an awesome, enthusiastic crowd um, sort of fuels you guys and then vice versa, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now you're playing tennis with the audience in terms of <laughs> you're passing energy back and forth, right? Yeah. Definitely good stuff. And um, so you're the only girl in this group. You're the only girl. Um, do these guys uh, rag on you quite a bit? Is it sort of a cool, fun dynamic? How do you feel being the only girl in, in, in a band full of guys? Um, there's really no difference for me being the only girl. I've done little other bands with girls in it. And I wasn't the only one, so there isn't really any difference. Just I find it more fun in this band because they always fool around a lot. Gavin. <laughs> yeah, but, me. but yeah, there's really no difference. It's just that we all get along pretty well on stage, and it's really fun just performing as a band. Yeah. Definitely sounds good. Seems like you're part of a really cool, fun, young group of people. So, Matthew, when you had like sort of mentioned to your parents that you want to enter into a band and possibly make this a career choice of yours, um, were they quite supportive of your decision? Oh yeah, definitely. Like, I, all of our parents were great with it. But uh, you gotta have backup plans too, because if it doesn't work out, then you gotta have like your education and like you gotta have a, like a proper job. But yeah, all our parents were like super supportive. That's phenomenal. You're very, very lucky and privileged. I guess that brings me to my next question. What are um, other things that you do in your life, whether it's aspirations, passions, interests, hobbies, school? What, what, what else interests you other than music? Well, I really like my sports. I play ice hockey and ball hockey, and I really enjoy that. And just hanging out with friends and doing stuff like that. What's your favorite subject in school? Uh, that's a that's a tough one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're all your favorite subjects, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and like for yourself, do you guys do you have do you have a backup plan? What are some other interests and hobbies of yours? And have your parents as well been supportive in your endeavors? They have been very supported, supportive with me over the years. Um, as for hobbies, anything musical really. I've always wanted to do something with music, if not art. The same thing, they're both music and art. I really enjoy. And yeah, being in a band, my parents have supported me this whole time with gear and gigs and everything, so it's good. Yeah, phenomenal. And so it's a reality of life that not everything is always handed to an individual on a silver platter. You must work really hard to achieve the best. Have there been instances in the, the band's history or in your personal lives where you guys have tried to achieve something, audition for something, and you guys have had shortcomings where you've been just flat out rejected? And if so, how have you, as a group or individually, pick yourselves back up again to be like, hey, I'm going to continue to move forward in my life because this is what I want to do. Who would like to answer that one? Well, I guess whoever's had a shortcoming. 
Or have you guys as a band had a shortcoming? Had any like major like just catastrophes where you know we had to yeah like you said pick ourselves back up and you know uh, carry on but I guess yeah we haven't really experienced something like that big. The group hasn't. What about a person? Um, not really yet, but I'm sure in the future maybe like we haven't sent our like a demo or anything into a record company or a label or anything like that. So I'm sure once we get the EP done and we send it into a label or something, we might have some shortcomings. Okay, go from there. So that's good because making plans for the future, sort of preparing yourselves is super important too, rather than just experiencing it. What, how does, what's your train of thought and how you're going to deal with a potential rejection? Fingers crossed that's not going to happen, but it's a reality of life, like I said. Well, uh, I guess when we just when we get to that point and we get uh, rejected by whatever, like for a gig or a, a label or record company or something, um, we'll just have to try and get past the fact that like somebody didn't maybe like our music or something. Like we have to be proud as a band of our music and think like we shouldn't let other people get us down. And say, oh, your music isn't good enough for us. Like. There's gotta be there's there's so many people I know out there that are like oh you guys are just you guys play weird music or or something it's like well it's the music we chose to play it's the music we like so if you don't like well then just don't listen and there's no point honestly that's most important because someone somewhere out there will sign you guys and what that'd be really nice. <laughs> that would be very nice. And so, I guess this brings me to... I know that there are aspiring musicians out there, guitarists, vocalists. What are some words of advice, some words of wisdom that I could get from each of you guys to let them know that they could reach their dreams and that they could be in um, the position you guys are now, a band, with a website, I'm assuming. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Uh, any further, um... Before we answer that, I just want to uh, find an opportunity to give you this. This is from the band. Oh, nice little present for you there. Thank you. Thank you so much. If I could get you to hold this, that'd be phenomenal. Let's check this out. This is super cool. Wow, thank you. Thank you guys so much. I'm actually going to put this on right now. Oh, thanks guys. This is phenomenal. This is going to be my, my shirt. I'm going to wear this proudly. <laughs> thanks so much, guys. So Back to the... Yes, absolutely. The question, yeah. Some words of advice, some words of wisdom, something motivational for our viewers out there. I honestly have to say, like, stay organized. Like having a good manager and everything, like um, Matt's dad, the manager, is like totally on top of everything. Like you want to have somebody to help you every step of the way and really keep everything on track, get all the gigs, like never give up. Don't think like someone turns you down, don't be like, oh, I'm obviously not good enough and just give up and stop playing gigs. You want to try and play every gig you can, no matter how small they are. Like we played probably like 10, 15 gigs that were just like, and like four people showed up that weren't our parents or something like that. So just keep trying and don't let people get you down and uh, stay, on, stay on top of it. Yeah. Like uh, shows you choose to play at, uh, it's perfectly fine to make, it's actually really good to make mistakes because uh, you learn from those, you learn a lot. Um, and well, what I would say from that honestly is um, I definitely always, there's always one time in a performance where I think I'll make a mistake and it's always I'll get off the stage and everyone will be like, good job Sam, you did really good and then I'll be like, oh, but that one part I really messed up and then my, my guy and I talked to some people about that and they're like, oh, what part? And I'm, and I'm just like, you know, that one part up there and that's, it just occurs to me that just don't notice that you make mistakes. Even if you do make mistakes, the worst thing is to notice them. And definitely, if like if you're not even in a band, a uh, good thing for individual artists is just persistence. 
and like Gavin said, be organized. Like you gotta make sure everything is pre-planned, everything is well to go for your performance, and you just gotta keep following your dreams. And that's the only thing. Yeah, follow your dreams. Great advice. Yes, it is. Anybody, you know what? <laughs> In the words of Justin Bieber, follow your dreams. Yes, yes. So, do you guys have like a memorable performance that really stands out in your guys' head? Well, um, yeah, Langley Canada Day, that was a really, really big one. There was a lot of people there. It was a real hyped up crowd and it was a really good experience. That one's probably the biggest one for me. What would you say is what you played your best on that day? Yeah, probably. Well, like we said earlier, like the more the crowd is into it, like the more fun you will have, the more better you'll play, you'll be more energized jumping around. Nobody wants to sit in a chair and just watch some band stand there and like all mopey like yeah. Yeah. the energy is totally key on holiday <laughs> <laughs> and so the, is there a show coming up in the future yes there is up in uh september 26 i believe it um well we're playing we're playing youth fest um where is it at uh yeah Gil at the guilford rec center we'll be playing youth fest of other bands there. Very cool. Do you guys have a sort of time that you guys will be up on stage? We don't really know yet, unfortunately. But once we do know, it will be posted on our website and on Facebook. Cool. Speaking of the website, what are what's the website's name and how are how are the different ways that people can get in touch with with Orbit? You can visit our page right. It's actually on your t-shirt, right? Oh, it is on my t-shirt. Okay. <laughs> cool. And it's uh, facebook.com slash Orbit Rock Band. Very cool. Uh, right now, which is uh, one thing that's super cool, is we got some contests going where uh, every time we reach a certain number of fans, uh, we'll do a draw and give out some really awesome stuff. Uh, yeah, our last winner, uh, which was once we reached 300 fans, I believe it was, uh, our winner of the draw won a iPod docking station, so you can win some pretty awesome stuff. Ooh, super cool. Well, I, well, it was really great chatting with you guys, and I wish you guys the best of luck in your future endeavors, and I do hope to see you on stage in September. Thank you for the shirt, by the way. It's kind of nice. No problem. Yeah. And now I'm actually really anxious to hear you guys play, so how about we get to it? All right, awesome. <laughs>